Hello, in this video, I will show you how you can create, reuse and share your own ChatGPT prompts. So prompts are short phrases, instructions or sentences that are given to ChatGPT to generate responses. These prompts can be on any topic or subject and are used to initiate conversation with the language model. It can happen that ChatGPT may misunderstand your question or you misspell something or you are not specific enough. When this happens, it may take a while to get an answer that you are looking for. Luckily, there is a Chrome extension called AIPRM. This is the one. Uh, I'm not sure if I pronounce the name correctly. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to this extension. It's free, so you can go ahead and install it in your Chrome browser. It comes with a lot of predefined prompts. And as you can see, right now there are 1,359 prompts available. These are basically templates for a specific question or request. It saves you time because you don't have to come up with your own questions or instructions. You usually need to provide one word or one sentence and it will give you back exactly what you want. It is especially useful if you need to use specific instructions frequently. For example, let's take a look at this keyword strategy prompt. What it does, it, it creates a keyword strategy and SEO content plan from one keyword. To get this done without a, a prompt template like this, you would have to come up with very specific instructions and it may take a while to, to do this correctly. And uh, without a template, you would have to do this over and over again. With this prompt, you can just provide your main keyword and the prompt will work with ChatGPT in the background and give you the result you need. So for example, let's click it and let's write uh, make money online. And it creates an entire keyword strategy plan for you. It even displays the information in a in a nice table. Okay, I am going to just stop generating. So to achieve this result, you would have to spend a lot of time thinking about the proper uh, questions and instructions you have to give to uh, ChatGPT. So that's why these uh, pre-made prompts are really, really useful. Uh, let me just remove this and just refresh the browser. And um, the great thing about this extension is that you can create your own prompt and you can make it publicly available. As you can see, each prompt has its own title, short description, it shows who created it. And if you hover over the name, you can visit the website of the creator. So you have a little bit of marketing opportunity here as well. But make sure you don't use it for spamming purposes. Uh, read their guidelines to be on the safe side. Okay, so let's create our very own prompt. I have an online course and I often have to create quizzes. So I will try to create a prompt that will generate a quiz question with four possible answers, but only one answer can be the correct one. So once you install the extension, this is what you should see. If you want to create a prompt, uh, you need to go to own prompts. As you can see, I already have one here, but if you want to create a new one, click add new prompt template. So here, basically, you need to provide a few things and just click Save Prompt to save it. The prompt template is basically where you add your instructions to ChatGPT. You see that there are two placeholders in square brackets. You need to use the prompt placeholder at least, but if you want to make your prompt publicly available, you need to use the target language as well. The teaser is the description of your prompt. This is what people will see when they come across your prompt. It should be short and straightforward. So people should immediately understand what this prompt does. The prompt hint 
is a short instruction for the user. We'll see it soon. The title is obviously the title of your prompt. You need to select a category for the prompt and provide your name and website URL. So let's take care of the easier parts first. I am going to put my prompt in the productivity and summarize category. I'll just add my name. I will provide the URL later. Um, actually, I can add it now. It doesn't really matter. I will not make it public for now. I will add a title. This is going to be called multiple choice quiz generator. Let's, uh, let's add a description. So it generates one multiple choice quiz question with four answers based on your topic or question. Okay. And we need to add a prompt hint. So again, this is the instruction. So try to provide very short, very specific instruction for the user to, to understand what he or she needs to do. Okay, so I'm just going to add this, write your topic or question here. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you make a mistake because you can always come back and edit your prompt. And um, obviously uh, you will probably need to do some testing and you need to do some, some reruns to, to make sure that everything is okay and um, you know fine tune uh, everything. Now let's go to the template and this is the most important part. So this is where we need to explain to ChatGPT what we want. Okay, so let's try this first. Okay, so um, I'll explain ChatGPT that I'd like you to write one quiz question based on my topic. Please also include four possible answers, but only one of the answers can be correct. Please mark the correct answer. My topic is, and this is where I'm going to use the first placeholder, and this is prompt. Okay, you need to include this in square brackets. Okay, if it's still not clear, this prompt placeholder will be replaced by whatever the user will type in here inside the chat. Okay, so you can you can add this placeholder anywhere actually. So so you could you could do something like uh, I'd like you to write a quiz question about and then add this prompt placeholder. But um, I want this prompt to be available to anyone. I want this to be multilingual. And maybe it's not a good idea to include the placeholder inside sentences because, you know, languages are, are different. Uh, they may have different uh, word orders, different uh, uses of, uh, of tenses or, or whatever. And if you do that, it may happen that the instruction is not correct in, in, in some languages. So it's, uh, it's kind of a good idea to separate it. So if I say this, that my topic is then prompt, it will probably the same in, uh, in any other languages as well. Okay, so let's uh, save it and let's try this prompt. Okay, so my prompt is here. And as you can see, I have an Excel related uh, prompt here already. So let me just click this prompt. So here you can see the prompt hint write your topic or question here. Let's, uh, let's uh, write the sum function in Excel. It's kind of kind of broad. I'm not being very specific here. Let's see what it will do. Okay, so actually it's uh, really cool. So it generated a question. So what does the sum function in Excel do? And it generated four possible answers. It marked the correct one and it also gave us a note about the correct answer. Uh, let me just delete this and let's try another one.
Okay, so actually this is uh, really nice, but I noticed that the correct answers are always marked differently. And I kind of like this one where, where it displays the uh, correct uh, solution below the uh, options, below the answers. So let's, uh, let's tweak the instructions a little bit. Uh, let me just delete this one. We won't need this anymore. And let's go and edit the prompt. Okay, so I will change this to this. So I'd like you to write one quiz question based on my topic. Please also include four possible answers, but only one of the answers can be correct. Please display the correct answer below the answers. And then I add my prompt. Okay, so let's save it and let's try again. And um, this time let's try uh, a proper question. So what does the count function used for in Excel? Okay, so far so good. This is excellent. This is what I wanted. So now it uh, displays the correct answer below the four possible options, the four possible answers. And um, actually, because I used a proper question, I am being more specific. So it doesn't come up with its uh, own uh, question. So actually, this is really good because uh, we can be very specific or we can be a little bit broad with uh, what we want. So uh, we, want, we, can, we can force ChatGPT to use basically this question because the, the two questions are basically the same. Uh, but if we don't have a specific question in mind, uh, only a topic, then we can just uh, uh, add the topic and ChatGPT will come up with a question. Okay, uh, let's uh, remove this and let's try a different one. So when do you use the simple past tense in English? Let's see. Okay, I really, really like it. So it, it changed my input. It changed the question, but basically the two are I wouldn't say the same, but they are very, very similar. And eventually it, it's, it's, you know, it, it always, uh, uh, up, it's always up to the user uh, how they form the questions, how, or, or what they, they, they input into the chat. Okay, so excellent. So we can be very specific if we provide a proper question or you can rely on ChatGPT to come up with a question if you just provide your topic. So I'm pretty happy with this. Obviously, I will test it more and refine the instructions if needed. But for now, let's make it available for the public. So uh, let me just remove this. I won't need this anymore. Uh, let's get back to the uh, prompt. Uh, let's uh, check this box. And we have one more thing to do with the uh, template. We need to add the target language placeholder. So people with, uh, with a different language can uh, use this. So I'm going to put it here. So I put this all output should be in and the placeholder target language. Okay, uh, this should be enough. Uh, let's click save. Oh, okay. So because I already have one public template, I can't create this one until that one gets five upwards. So I'm not going to share this for now, but I'm going to save it. Uh, you can see I already have two uh, upwards. So I have to wait until I get five and then I will be able to save this. Uh, okay, but I'm very happy with this. 
and uh, and this is it this is how you can create your own prompt template with this chrome extension so this is really cool and i suggest you use it if you have any question please leave a comment below the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button thanks for watching